Welcome to Get a Clue number 5, Selected Problems from the Math Models Test on Chapter 3. We'll go over just a few problems from the Chapter 3 test, although as a whole students did very well. I want to go over a couple of the easy mistakes people made as well as tackle a couple of the more difficult problems. Let's look at problem 6 on your test. Find the value of angle PQR. Most of the students did a great job of solving for x. They set it up as 2x plus 4x equals 90. The next step was to combine like terms to get 6x equals 90. The final step to solve for x is to divide both sides by 6. Cancel 6 over 6 on the left. Bring down the result, x equals 15. One of my best students made for her final step to box in the answer, x equals 15. There's only one problem with this answer, it's not the right answer. After you find a number, you always have to go back to answer the question or do what is being asked. Does it say find the value of x here? No, it doesn't. What does it say? It says find the value of angle PQR. What is angle PQR? Well, it's this angle here, 2x. And what is the measure of this angle? Well, it's 2x or 2 times x. We replace the x in the measure of angle PQR with 15. So our answer is 2 times x or 2 times 15 or 30 degrees. And that is the answer that we box in to be correct. Never forget, after calculating, to go back and read carefully what is being asked. In, in many questions on tests, that number you calculate first is not the final answer, but it's an intermediate answer to be used in getting the final answer. This is not a multiple choice problem, but it's problems like these where the test writers get you. They offer as one or more of the answer choices the answer to the intermediate problems to see if they can sucker you into biting at the wrong answer. Do you see that hook by the number 15? Don't be a sucker. Let's look at this problem, problem 10. I had some students miss this pretty easy problem. Let's see what happened. This is the first step, the setup. This just uses the segment addition postulate. The two composing segments links together equal the total segment length. Now we combine like terms. n plus n is 2n. I had a lot of students combine negative 8 and 23 and get 31. Is that right? No, it's not. But that was not their worst mistake. We need to go on to get to their worst mistake. We'll leave it in and, and go on to see what should happen. Bring down the 57 on the right. Subtract 31 from both sides. Cancel on the left. Bring down the rest, so 2n equals, 30, equals 26. Divide both sides by 2. Cancel, so n equals 13. Substitute 13 for n in AB. So based on n equals 13, segment AB is 13 minus 8, or 5. Then we use n equals 13 for the other segment, BC. This would make a segment BC equal 13 plus 23, or 36. With AB at 5 and BC at 36, then AC would be 41. But is AC 41? No, it's 57. This check would have told the students they were wrong if they had gone far enough. Always check. So this was their worst mistake, not checking. Don't be like Homer, and be sure to check your answers. Now let's go back and fix our work. Negative 8 plus 23 is 15. From here you'll get 2n equals 42, then n equals 21, then n minus 8 equals 13, so AB is 13. BC would be 21 plus 23, or in other words 44, and since 13 plus 44 is 57, that would check our answer. This is problem 16 on the test, one of the most difficult. I hope you can see that both of these expressions, circled here, 4x and 2x plus 35, must be equal to each other since the angles are the same. These are not technically corresponding angles, but what we call, call alternate exterior angles. It doesn't say here that the two lines are parallel, but for this problem to make any sense, you need to assume that. 
Here's the equation set up, 4x equals 2x plus 35. Start solving by subtracting 2x from each side. Cancel 2x minus 2x. Bring down what's left, 2x equals 35. Solve for x by dividing by 2, so x is 17.5. Is 17.5 our answer? No, it's not. It's an intermediate answer. The problem asks for the value of angle x, y, z. You take that 17.5 and plug it in for x. Angle x, y, z is 4 times 17.5 or 70 degrees, and that is our answer. 70 degrees, not 17.5. Don't forget to check by plugging in 17.5 for x and 2x plus 35 to see if that is also 70 degrees, and it is. Checking our answer. Now let's look at this one last problem today, number 17 on the test. It calls for solving for angle DFC. The first thing we look for in this problem is what we're solving for and see if there's enough information to do it. We see that the overall angle CFE is 90 degrees, which is a supplement of the other side with the square mark. We don't know what these two angles are, but we do know that they add up to 90 degrees. So we set up the equation 1.5y plus y are equal to 90 degrees. Now we combine like terms. What is 1.5y plus y? That would be 2.5y. We solve for y by dividing both sides of the equation by 2.5. That would be y equals 36. Does that solve it? Is 36 our answer? Well, I had a few students who did pick 36 as an answer, but that was wrong. No, 36 degrees would be angle DFE, but we need angle DFC, which is 1.5y. And 1.5 times 36 is 54. To check, we add y or 36 to 54. And, and since that's 90 degrees, we know that our answer is right. Angle DFC is 54 degrees in measure. These have been just a few problems from the test. This has been Get a Clue number 5, Selected Problems from the Math Models Test on Chapter 3. Thanks for viewing.